UN and French helicopters circle Abidjan. According to Ivorian state television, French forces are preparing for a Rwandan-style genocide. RTI says seven planes reportedly landed at the airport loaded with 100 tanks and more than 2,000 soldiers. The allegations are a far cry from the 300 extra Likoran soldiers announced by the French military. The peacekeepers now number 1,400. Saturday night, French forces took control of Abidjan's airport, reportedly to make it easier for foreigners to leave the country if the violence drags on. French troops continued to patrol the city's most dangerous neighborhoods, offering foreigners their help if they want to be transferred to the military camp. Meanwhile, most Abidjan residents stayed home for the fourth straight day. But the streets were calm Sunday as forces loyal to internationally recognized Ivorian President Alassane Ouattara announced they were gearing for a final showdown. They've already taken close to 80 percent of the country. However, incumbent President Laurent Gbagbo promises to put up a fight, calling civilians to form a human shield around his office and home.